Did you ever have any uh, issue with Danica Patrick? Any uh, run-ins? <laughs> no. Danica used to drive for me at Junior Motorsports for a couple years before she went into the Cup Series. So um, I was just we had just we had dinner. Me, her, and Mike had dinner last night, and I was telling her. I remember when she was running the Atlantic Series, and that's when I first saw her race because uh, those were on television. And I thought, man, she's so good. And I couldn't wait for her to move up into IndyCar. And I was a, so I was a fan of Danica's uh, way back then. And when she decided to come to NASCAR, we were the team that she chose to to do that, you know, to to try that challenge with. And so we were kind of um, we were kind of lucky because she 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 made our she made our company at Junior Motorsports a lot better. Uh, and, um, the experience, she was good. You know, we had a great, we had some great runs and she was competitive. Um, and then she moved on to cup and drove for Stuart Haas and, and, and the rest is history. But, uh, yeah, we never had any problems on the racetrack. I raced with her a few times, but, um, we, we did have one, uh, at Kentucky. I run out of brakes. Uh, yeah, the brakes were, uh, we were having an issue. A brake wait, issue. wait, wait, hold How do you run out of brakes? Well, the brakes, the brakes cooked. Like, uh, I got either a bunch of debris on the grill or whatever, and it cooked the brake fluid. And so the brake pedal would go to the floor and the brakes would not slow <laughs> down the car. And so I was falling back through the pack and I'd been running behind her for a little while. And I was running, uh, you know, we went into a corner and she slowed down for the corner and I didn't. And I ran in the back of her and put her in the fence and uh, we ran into each other on pit road. She was mad. <laughs> and uh, she got out of the car and was like, you know, I don't know what he was doing. And, and, but we, I told her afterwards, I said, man, I have any brakes. Couldn't stop. I had, you know, you, you were in front of me and I hit you. And it was just a bad deal. She's like, if you didn't have any brakes, you should have got off the track. <laughs> she was right. You didn't have any, you know, like emergency blinkers that you can put on in your NASCAR. There was nothing I could do. Uh, I didn't think <laughs> other than get off the racetrack. Uh, but, uh, you know, sometimes you try to do whatever you can to stay out there and compete. But that was the only time I can remember us ever really having any kind of on track, you know, disagreement. Oh, by the way, I, uh, I have the, um, the accident with you and Danica. Oh, you got it. Uh, so she, she said to her team, go bleep yourself. I mean, really, <laughs> if you don't have any brakes, why would you drive in underneath me? Weren't you thinking about that? Maybe the corner before that? What a ass bleep. Yeah. Ouch. That's it. Yeah. Hey, um, when we're, when, you know, when we climb in that car and put a helmet on, we're all drivers and we all have bad, <laughs> bad language. <laughs> So that was well, be careful with your language this weekend though, <laughs> Junior. Okay. <laughs> I will. I won't worry. I won't have to worry about it. I ain't putting a helmet on this weekend. Well, you're next to Danica. I just don't want something, you know, if you bump You're into good. her. I just told you we went to dinner last night. We're okay. all friends now. All right. Okay. All right.